Afternoon everybody. I was going to say good morning, that feels like it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, half past 12 and gone, so yeah, I haven't done a video since um, Christmas toy run and I've got 490 miles on the bike so I've got to get out and get a few more miles on it and um, then get it serviced and then that should be good to go so I've just been taking it easy on it but yeah I thought I'd get out today and just give it a blast and um, yeah just go for a ride around but it's bloody cold I went out this morning and filled the car up with diesel and that was about 10, 11 o'clock time when I was out and that was minus two then and I don't think that's warmed up a great deal although the sun is nice it's lovely to see the sunshine but I just pity that weren't a few degrees warmer and the roads would be drier but never mind I suppose that's what we expect this time of year but never mind anyway what was I going to talk about um, I can't remember there was something I'd got in my head but you know what it's like when you get older you got a head like a bloody sieve or a colander or whatever and it soon empties but yeah I might just stop up the road here and uh, do a walk around because you all know by now that I've got a new bike that's the uh, Kawasaki Z900 and um, yeah, it's taken some getting used to. That's a bit different to the um, NC that I had. I've got a few, I say a few. There's a couple of things that I wish this had got that the NC had, if you like. And one is that big storage locker. I mean, that on a bike is absolutely brilliant. But this hasn't got it, so I've got a rucksack. Um, the missus bought me a small tank bag for Christmas. And I've also got a tail bag. So if there's not enough room in there to carry what I need to carry, then I just have to leave it at home. It's as simple as that. But yeah, that was just a, that's a minor thing, you know, I mean, Anyway, yeah, the other thing that I think a bike like this could do with, and I think everybody else, every, all of you will probably agree, is the headlight. And a lot of you thinking now, yeah, I know what he's going to say. It's a twin headlight, but you only get one side lit up during the day, or, you know, when you're on dip beam. What would it take for the manufacturers of all the bikes, it don't matter what it is, there's not that many to put twin headlights in there and then link them across so you get main beam in both of them as well that would look a lot better a hell of a lot better but hey ho, it is what it is I mean we can all keep telling them and telling them and uh, I guess that's down to cost but yeah, I've upgraded the headlights on this. I mean, they weren't over bright, but um, I've put the brighter bulbs in. They're only the halogens, I think they are. They're not LED. Um, I've put my little LEDs on that I had on the NC. I've put me I've got a set of mirror extenders on this as well just to push the mirrors out a little bit wider because uh, well, as you've seen me I'm uh, I'm not a rake put it that way I'm uh, fairly broad across my shoulders so um, with these standard mirrors and the standard arms all I was seeing was my shoulders and the arms and you need to see what's behind you so yeah, I've put the um, mirror extenders, I don't know if you can see them down there. I've got them on and uh, they seem to work well. I mean, that was only a tenner. 
I did think about bar end mirrors and things like that but I thought no they'll do for the price of them I'll see how we get on with them I mean there's nothing wrong with these mirrors they're not a bad shape they're nice and big so I thought yeah they'll do but um what else uh, I think that's about the only really negative thing I can say about it. Oh, there's one more thing. <laughs> when I open it up, I have a bloody job hanging on to it. Because, by God, does that go? And, I mean, that's not the bike, that's me. Because, I mean, the NC, you open that up and, yeah, you could make it go, but um, this thing is... Uh, well, that's like having your ass on a missile. It certainly shifts. And I'm only running it in. So once that's run in and got a few miles on it, what that'll be like then, I don't know. But I certainly won't be doing it on these roads and in these sort of conditions. But, um, but apart from that, all is good with it. I'm really enjoying it, which is what it's about. I wouldn't have got it if I weren't going to enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out on some of these rides coming up this year. Um, I know I'm in the, you all know, I'm in the Suffolk crew with uh, Weggy and I think we that is growing very, very well. Um, we've got 400 and I lost track, four, nearly 400, I think it's about 450 we'll say, members in that now, and we've got a few things organised, um, whether I should be on all of them is another thing, because obviously I have other things to do with the missus being disabled, she's stuck at home 90% of the time, and the only times I can really get away to get her out is weekends and so you know with the caravan so we can get her away that's not always going to be easy to get out on the bike but i'll do what i can do and i can't do no more than that i mean obviously getting her out and about has got to come first because without her i wouldn't have this and the, her support so um yeah but now, as I was saying, um, if you're going to the MCN Festival at uh, Peterborough in May, the Suffolk crew is going to have a stand up there. So if you're not in the crew and you're going along, um, pop along and see them. And, uh, Tell them I sent you. Probably look at you sideways. Think who the hell you're on about. But Weggy will be up there, and I think you all know Weggy um, in Suffolk. Andy, he might be there. He's not really do a lot of um, social media, but he will know about it. And also, they'll probably be there promoting their channel as well. So that's good. Um, what else are we doing? I think they're working on trying to get a stand at Cop Dock at the uh, latter half of the year. So that'll be another good one. You can pop along and see us all there. Um, there's a load of rides in between, round and about. I'm organising one for the crew. And, uh, that's right, these roads are slippery around here. Yeah, I'm organising one for the crew, and... We're going up to... The sports bike shop. There's a lot of people in the crew who haven't been. And from there, we should be going up to... Skegness. Have some chips and a good ride and also meet up with Skeggy Cruiser um, as I say it is for the crew uh, but 
you don't have to be in the crew to come on that ride you know it, it's open to anybody but for the, primarily it is being put on so the crew's got a ride out um, what else loads of breakfast meats going on you know in and around um, East Anglia so yeah it's going to be a busy year bike wise that's without all the other rides because no doubt Woman Wolf Rider will be doing something I know she's not doing the Dove Cottage this year but I think she was uh, possibly be doing something if she's not she's going to have a break which she's put a lot of hard work in the Dove Cottage rides so she might be having a break I don't know I haven't heard from her for a while but um, no doubt when, when uh, she watches this she'll leave me a comment and let me know well I hope she does um, Skeggy Cruiser I guess will be doing his Sunny Honey Run which this last year coincided with the Mods and Rockers um, we went along with it but it weren't no fault of ours I think it, uh, it just turned into a shambles to be honest from the marshalling point of view we all ended up on Stanton but uh, I think we all went in separate ways and got there as and when so what will happen this year I don't know bloody hell here we go Fenland Roads don't you just love them? Not. But, so yeah. Uh, what else? I can't think. No, no that's, that's about it really. That I can think of anyway. I mean, I guess if I was in front of the screen at home I'd have a load more information and a load more uh, bits and pieces going on. But if you've got anything that you know about, yeah, drop it in the comments. It's always good to get the comments. I must admit, I've not had many negative ones, which is all good. Um, one or two thumbs down on some of the videos, which you expect that. But you do this to you get comments you get good and you get bad you get thumbs up and you get thumbs down it's all good because at the end of the day that means people are watching your videos so right I'm gonna finish this one here you now heading out towards Little Port so yeah I'm just out as I said just out having a just a poodle around trying to get a few more miles on the bike and then I've got a head over to Peterborough and get this serviced so but that's not today I've got to get it booked in before we do that so yeah I should probably go as I said I should probably just go and park up somewhere and just do a walk around I might stick it in this video I don't know how long this one is going to be and uh, yeah I should talk to you all again soon Right, I said I'd do a walk round of the bike, and what better place than here in Littleport? As you can see that, that's the um, Harley Davidson Memorial. And that was uh, William Harley. He come from Littleport originally. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, William S. Harley. right they're looking at me they think I've lost my head well I have probably but anyway so yeah I thought I'd do just a little better place to do a walk around and this is it so uh, yeah as you can see I've got these little things on here and the extenders but basically that's pretty much standard needs a clean yeah, it needs a bloody good clean. I've got some um, stuff I'm going to try and clean them 
headers up with and uh, hopefully I can get, some, get the tarnish and rust off of them and yeah so that's me Z900 got it in the black because I like the black um, I've always liked black bikes for some reason and uh, yeah so anyway that's the walk around I'm gonna end this video here and ride safe everybody <laughs> and uh, if you haven't done already leave a comment and please subscribe and we'll talk to you all again in the next one bye for now